All right, ladies and gentlemen, um, what I want to go through real quick is reference angles, all right? And reference angles are going to be very helpful, and especially to what we actually previously learned and how to find angles. Um, reference angles are going to help us kind of like hurry up the process of what we've previously actually done before. So the definition of a reference angle is the acute angle between the terminal side of your angle theta and the x-axis. So I'll say that again. It's the acute angle between your terminal side of your angle theta and the x-axis. So let's look at an angle in quadrant one. All right, in quadrant one, you're, you have your terminal side of your angle is right here, right? So what is the acute angle between this terminal side and the x-axis? Well, you can draw that as right there, which we'll call theta prime. So our reference angle in this example is just between our terminal side and the x-axis. That's your acute angle. Is that an acute angle? Yes, it is. Now let's look at quadrant two. If I have an angle in quadrant two where my terminal side is in quadrant two, can it be the same angle like this one? See here in quadrant one, they're the same angle. But if I said this was the same angle, no, because that's not acute, right? Acute has to be between 0 and 90. So in this problem, my theta prime is going to give what's going to be um, is going to be on that other side right there. It's going to represent right there in the red. And I'm going to show you guys how to compute these algebraically as well in a second. Here, you can say that your acute angle between your terminal side and the x-axis again is right there. Or I'll just be consistent and I'll just say it's there, there. The direction does not matter. It's an acute angle. Acute angles have to be between the measure of what? Zero and less than 90, right? So we're not talking about negative angles. We're not talking about direction or anything. And it's acute angle, so therefore it has to be positive and between zero and 90. Then here for this final angle, we're going to look at it right here. All right? So let's go and look through the definition. So ladies and gentlemen, when you're graphing them, if you guys remember, um, remember when I gave you guys like big angles? Let's say I gave you the angle or I said, find the sine of 225 degrees. Do you guys remember what we did for that? No? It was in section 4.2. When we did sine of 225 degrees, the first thing you had to do was sketch the angle, 225 degrees. Then you had to figure out what point that was on the unit circle. And we, the only way we really knew how to do that was to have our unit circle to know exactly where it was on the unit circle or to what point it corresponded to in the first quadrant. However, here's a very basic way to get through um, the reference angles. This angle and its reference angle are what? Exactly the same. So if I give you an angle in the first quadrant and I ask you to find the reference angle, it's the same thing. However, if I give you an angle in the second quadrant, you notice that these two add up to what degree, to what measure? 180. So if I give you theta and I say find theta prime, you could say theta prime, since they add up to 180, theta prime, all it is is 180 minus theta, if I gave you degrees, or if I gave you radians, it'd be pi minus theta. Then Jonathan, the next thing you're gonna wanna write down is the third quadrant here. So if I have if I have something in the third quadrant, think about it this way. From there to there is your angle theta, right? If you subtract, I'm sorry, let's do this. Let's take this. If from here to here is angle theta, if I subtract 180, what, is, what am I left over with? If I take the black and subtract the green angle, what, ang what distance am I left with? My acute angle, my reference angle. So therefore, defined when given to you guys um, in the third quadrant, theta prime is equal to theta minus 180. Or theta prime is equal to theta minus pi. All right. And then the last one for quadrant four, again, all we're going to do now, what we're going to do is take theta and take two, or say 360 
and minus theta. Or we'll take 2 pi and minus theta. Okay, And that's how you algebraically find these. All right, And I'll go through an example. I'll actually go through two examples for you guys real quick. All right. <coughs> 